name is Crystal Elinsky. I represent 10,000. Commissioner Novick, Fritz, former Nine. Commissioner Hales, Commissioner Salzman, Commissioner Fish. I am interested in the fact that we are speaking about shootings, deadly force, only shootings, and we. I don't understand why we live in a culture where we have so many guns. I've never understood it. And even when you come to City Hall to speak peacefully and to help out, there are people present in the room with guns that I do not trust any more than the average person, really. But especially because they happen to be Portland police officers. So I think that we continue to talk about culture. And deadly force is just the next step with heavy-handed tactics. And that's what I see all the time. I mean, I'm a sweet looking white woman, even though I've had some bad experiences, it hasn't gotten to deadly force. So I can see how it would escalate there. So my own personal experience is that this is sort of ridiculous, that this is how we approach it, with little recommendations, constant pontification, hypothetical pontifications about what we could do, and what I see on the ground is very real. Um, everybody, serves the police, the city. The police don't serve the people. The city serves the police. They run with pure impunity, and that's the way it's been. And we need to first talk about that before we can get anywhere else. So changing the culture is one thing, but um, we were talking about hiring practices. I, I think it would be swell to start all over again. Why do we continue to hire the people we do? Um, they're all pretty much the same. And I understand they're nice police officers, but when you're in a culture where you can't be a whistleblower, it makes it really hard. Um, hiring versus training. You know, you really can't train that out of people. When, when I, I spoke to every single, there were multiple um, uh, law enforcement officers on Saturday night, and every single one I told them, I wish you would go through the same treatment that we're going through now. I wish you knew what it felt like. And one of them said, you know, if we did, we couldn't be police officers because it would be on our record. Oh, the irony. I said, you know, we, many of us would be better police officers than you. You know, I'm a good shot. I, I'm pretty good, but I don't believe in guns. So as far as the individual recommendations, uh, we talked about that um, emergency vehicles and my experience with EMS is, and others, fire, they do what the cops tell them to do. That's how it is. So it doesn't matter what you write down, that has to be changed. Um, when, even in hospital, I, I, when I've been in hospital, I've instead of being treated uh, for my injuries, my police injuries, or addressing my disability, as I always say from the beginning, I'm protected by the ADA, can I have a little bit more time? Uh, no, I want you I'm to almost done. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, instead of addressing my disability, they uh, tested me for drugs, they gave me a psych eval, and they tortured me by not allowing me to use a phone, etc. So that was the EMS. And then um, with the dogs, it reminds me of Albuquerque, but here in Portland, we're known for our horses and how they crush people. I just don't think that that's even a discussion to use a dog as a threat to fight someone. And then um, technology, uh, quoting the police panel, um, are we going, we need to ask if we're going to make the situation worse by our actions, and that's why we have technology. Well, technology is, it's a techno fix. It just makes it even more complicated and worse, and it's, uh, our technology is becoming more of a police state, basically. So finally, um, um, just sorry, uh, let's see. Sunshine Division, by the way, it's all genetically modified food. I wouldn't eat it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so American Disability, yeah. There's just one last thing. Right, so I just wanted to point out that uh, Mayor Potter was a police chief, and even though he had a little leg up on you, I think it would behoove you to apologize like he used to, to the community. I think that would be really, really helpful, and that's a good start instead of the navel-gazing. Thanks, Crystal. Welcome.